Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Dolores and her dog, Pancake. The dynamic duo. Can they survive the apocalypse? Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to 60 Seconds Re-Atomized. Last time, we were home alone and it did not go well we're gonna try another challenge today a woman and her dog i've never actually gotten a uh, pancake the dog so i think you actually start with little puppers here which is pretty cool only dolores made it well dolores and this weird mutt they must hold out together against all odds until rescue arrives I don't know why I'm using this voice, but I feel like it makes it more intense. They must brave starvation, lack of entertainment, bloodthirsty thugs, and also the fact that Dolores isn't really a dog person. She doesn't like dogs. That's kind of not great for Pancake and for Dolores, but maybe she'll learn that a dog is more than just a fuzzy creature that sometimes poops inside of your house. It's a companion, it's a friend, and it's a hug when you need it most. Either way, uh, let's just play the game. We need to survive for 50 days. We don't wanna lose Pancake because he is our precious, dearest, closest friend. Expeditions are disabled and we get a reward of a bearded collie skin. For Pancake, that's pretty cool. Let's go. Pancake, he's so cute, I like him. All right, let's see what the notebook has to say. When fire rains down from the sky, it's every woman for herself. Well, woman and a filthy dog named Pancake. <laughs> At least it's not mutated yet. We'll just have to get along until the rescue comes. Maybe the dog will prove useful. Someone has to bring in the supplies and the shelter cannot be left unguarded. So regular trips to the surface are out of the question. No expeditions, bummer. The message on the radio said the army is on its way, but it will take them around 50 days to arrive. It's not going to be easy, but we must hold out. We wouldn't want to perish just before they got here. How embarrassing would that be? Oh man, boy, I'd be red faced if I had no face and was just bones when they found. Let's just move along. Okay, so we only have to worry about Dolores, and Dolores, she's a trooper. She'll survive. She's tough. We woke up to a dripping sound today and noticed there's something leaking from the pipes. The green liquid looked innocent enough, even after it ate through the table and the chair and the floor. If I use the gas mask, will it break? You know what? Just use it. Don't get sick right off the bat. If, if we lose the gas mask, we lose the gas mask. We didn't lose the gas mask, and Dolores isn't sick. Problem solved. No leak, no mess. Sweet. Oh good, getting a little paranoid. Play some cards, Dolores. Save yourself the craziness. We saw Timmy go crazy in the last episode. <laughs> Let's not let Dolores do the same. Now what does Pancake actually do other than that? You know what? Who cares, that's good enough. I like it, he wags his tail, he barks, he's cute. Man, can't help but notice that we only have one bottle of water. Real scary. Oh, great. We got crazy people at the door. What should I use? Bug spray? I don't know about that. Let's put the padlock on. Make them leave. It worked, but we lost our padlock. Uh, it's the weird Monty Python dudes with the, with the self-made horse sounds. Uh, let's give them the map. Let, I mean, not give it to them. Just let them use it. And then will they give me something in return? I don't know. It would be nice if they could give me some water. No, they gave me a briefcase. Okay, sure. I'll take it, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. All right, Dolores, drink up, lady. Oh, eat the mushrooms. I don't feel like food is the issue here, so let's not eat the mushrooms. It's not worth the risk. Oh, I hear, I hear cockroaches, I think. Yeah, cockroaches, giant green ones. Do I let the cockroaches take over and keep the bug spray? Isn't that what cost me the game last time when we were home alone? because I used the bug spray. I don't exactly remember. The cockroaches are not that bad, but do they make me sick? You know what? Let's keep them around. <laughs> I know this is probably not a great decision, but let's just, let's just hang out with the cockroaches. Now we have two best friends, Pancake and 
Jiminy Cricket. But Jiminy Cricket is a cricket, not a cockroach. Jiminy Cricket the cockroach. Duh. They're gonna take over. They're gonna rise up and take us out. Something is watching us in the shadows. I don't like that. But I feel like it might just be in our heads. We're early enough that if I lost at this point, I wouldn't mind restarting. So you know what? Let's risk it. Let's 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 take a little risk. Okay, it didn't end. We're still alive. What was it in the shadows? No, you took my food. You terrible furry rodent. I should have killed you. My bad. Pancake seems eager to run outside for a while. Maybe he'll bring back something interesting. Okay, go for it, Pancake. Don't die. Because we lose if you die. What'd you bring me back? Where's my water? Excuse me? He brought back checkers. Cool, I guess, but could really use some water. Pancake is a great companion, but for some bizarre reason, he has been hanging a lot around soup cans. Maybe he wants a taste? All right, let's give Pancake the soup, because he's a good doggy. And sharing is caring, but man, I am not in a great situation. Well, now don't eat the can, Pancake. Easy boy. Hopefully that tomato soup will keep him happy for a while. Yes, I hope you enjoy your soup while I starve to death. Oh, I have no food. Oh, Dolores is dead. I didn't, okay, yeah. Maybe she won't die? I doubt it. Let's see if we lose. Oh, we didn't lose. Loris looks pretty bad though. Oh, and our cockroaches are definitely taking over the room. Cool, very cool. I'm pretty sure Dolores is gonna starve to death, but she's also very sick. So I'm gonna use the med kit and I'm gonna hope that we get some food because she's probably gonna die right here. No, <laughs> she didn't die. How many days is she gonna go without eating? I don't know, not too many more. I'll tell you that much. We've got a leather suitcase sitting out in front of our house. I think we only have one choice, and that is to open it. And, uh, are we dead? <gasps> How are you still alive, lady? How many days can she survive without food? <gasps> soup! That's awesome! Give her the soup, man. Thank you, benevolent suitcase. All right, let's listen to the radio. Holy cow, I can't believe we survived that situation. Okay, the roaches are taking over civilization right now. I, we need to kill them. And also, Dolores got sick. So, I'm pretty sure it's because of the roaches. And that's not good, because we used our first aid kit like two days ago. Oh, we've defeated the roaches, but we definitely paid the price, which is Dolores getting sick. It's not good. Pancake wants to go outside. Go for it, dude. Bring back a first aid kit, please. Uh, that does not sound like a good cough. He did not bring back first aid kit. He brought back nothing, in fact. Great, super, awesome. I gotta survive 50 days like this? Are you kidding me? Huh, firefighters trying to light my bunker on fire. Guess the definition of a firefighter has somewhat changed recently. We'll use the fire ax, keep them at bay, I guess. Dead. Rip Dolores. <laughs> She's not doing great. Oh, it's hunger. I didn't feed her. Oh, well. Okay, you know what? Let's try again. Round two. That first one was just a, a warm up. Okay, this time I killed the giant green cockroaches right off the bat. Hopefully, that was the right decision. All right. I'll catch you guys up here a little bit. It's day 15. Uh, we just collected two bottles of water and two cans of soup from an airdrop. Great news. Bad news. Dolores is sick. And we don't have a first aid kit. Also, uh, this bloody hand up on the wall, that indicates that I did something bad. I raided a retirement home, and guess what I got for it? A single lock. Just that. It feels bad, man. But look at how stacked we are with food and water. We just need to keep Dolores alive with a med kit. Please find a med kit pancake. Nope. He brought home a Boy Scout handbook. Okay. Not bad. Not very helpful right now in this moment. There's a hole in the wall behind our map. Let's check it. Not a first aid kit. Just saying. It's a flashlight. Okay. That's cool. I'll take it. We do have an extra can of soup. Let's give it to pancake because he's a good dog. Two bottles of water for a first aid kit. I don't have two bottles of water. That hurts. Okay, guess we'll just let that one go. 
she died. She died of sickness. Dolores! Why? Oh, what? She died of dehydration? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> I forgot to give her water. One more try. You know what they say. Third time's a charm. Dolores. You okay there, girl? <laughs> she crazy. I don't know what she's doing. Just one of these. Little, little drool coming out. She's fine. She's totally fine. Don't worry. It's... It's only day three. We can turn this around. Day 11. Dolores still looking gr great. Great news. Uh, Dolores is no longer crazy. Bad news. She's deranged. Oops. I'm gonna open the door for this person. Very seriously banging on the hatch. And, uh, probably regret it. So let's just go ahead and do that. We're still alive. Uh, sick, though. And, and, uh, okay, yeah, that doesn't look great. She doesn't look great. Yep, that's what got me sick. Okay, cool. Thanks for that. <sighs> Let us heal Dolores of her sickness. We can't help with the derangedness. Open in the name of freedom came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Absolutely. What do we have to lose? We're crazy. We open the door for everybody. Everybody, come in. Hey, you're a bandit with, with spikes on your shoulders and a gun? Come on in, buddy. Oh, you have a club with nails in it? <laughs> you're welcome, too. I got a gun. See, it pays off to be kind of crazy. Now I'm gonna use my gun to protect myself. And it immediately broke, but it did protect me. Dolores, you're not crazy anymore. But she is dehydrated and starving, and I have no water. Let's eat some glowing mushrooms that are in our walls. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> she probably died of dehydration. I think it's safe to say that I am just very bad at this game. Dolores died of dehydration. I had no water that time. Yeah, the last couple of times I probably could have prevented her death so soon. But in this situation, I had no water. There was nothing I could do, dude. Either way, I'm bad. <laughs> Please help me. Provide your tips for me in this game. I do want to beat at least one of these challenges. These things are brutal. But that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully, you guys still enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And, of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.